Hello, audio engineer friends and drummers. Matt Vanacore with Waves Factory here, and we are going to take a deep dive, a look at Snare Buzz, a really awesome psychoacoustic plugin that can help bring some realism to your drum tracks, whether you're using electronic kits or even a real kit. So as so often happens with many producers, sometimes you can't mic every single thing that you want to in the drums. We'd all like to use, you know, 15, 16 microphones and get every aspect of the drum kit, but you know, sometimes we're restricted in what we can use. And for example, in this particular uh, track, we had a really, really big band using a lot of inputs on the interface, and I was not able to mic the underside of the snare. I was able to mic the top part of the snare, but that resulted in a drum track and a drum part that didn't have that sort of, you know, flavor of the snare buzzing underneath. If you listen... It sounds good, but at this particular type, especially with such a tom-heavy beat, that snare would be getting those sympathetic vibrations and buzzing a little bit, and it's making it sound a little bit artificial to me. So I'm going to put snare buzz down to bring some realism to my tracks. So I've opened up snare buzz, and I'm putting it just on the toms for now, uh, just so we can hear, because this is such a tom-heavy beat. And as I said, normally, um, if I had a snare underside mic, it would definitely be be picking up all of those sympathetic vibrations and you'd hear the snare buzzing a lot with every smash of those toms. So let's listen to the toms without the plug-in. Now I'm going to turn it on. There we go. And now you can hear that snare, um, those snares underneath the snare drum rattling. And I've got a lot of controls. I've got it turned all the way up by default here. So let's take a look at some of the uh, controls and the ways you can alter it. First of all, you've got a couple of different types of snares. You can rotate through. Of course, what drum you use is going to have an effect on how those vibrations are going to sound. You can even adjust the tightness of the snares to get a really crisp sound or a looser sound. All adjustable in real time. Now, inside the studio, well, first of all, you can pick a different studio. So we've got a couple of different studios to choose from. And of course, the acoustics of the room will have a nice effect on that. And you can adjust how far away that mic is. A little bit different than adjusting the volume of the effect, which you can do by adjusting both the mix amount and the final output. So this gain right here showing how much of the buzz is getting output. But don't forget that that's adjusting your final track as well. So we got a little bit of a gain adjustment that will adjust the whole thing, but we've also got a mix. If I put it to 0%, you'll hear no buzz. If I crank it up, you'll hear a lot of buzz. I want just enough to make it seem like I really had a snare underside mic. Now if you listen, And again, I can bring it up in the mix. Yeah. It really helps with the sense of realism, and it just brings a little bit more, um, you know, openness to the sound. So having those sympathetic vibrations makes it seem like I actually had an underside snare mic, which is great because, you know, sometimes even using that, you pick up other garbage in that mic that you may not necessarily always want. So it's good to be able to do that. Now, you can also use this on an artificial kit. Let's flip over to that. All right, well, I dragged in a MIDI region for my artificial kit. When I, when I did this song originally, I tracked it out with electronic drums first before we recorded the drummer. So I've got it handy, nice little heavy tom beat again. But many of us use the electric kit just as the final product as well. I mean, you're working with singer-songwriters. Sometimes they don't have a band. Sometimes you're specking something out and sending it out. And you've got this really great high-end virtual drumming instrument, but you want it to sound a little bit more realistic, and you can get there with snare buzz. So I'm going to listen to the original track a little bit. There's that Tom Heavy beat. Okay, and now I'll turn on snare buzz. It's almost like an instant realism button. So it really does uh, instantly let you enhance that original track. There might be a little bit more on there right now than I wanted, uh, so I'll pull the mic distance back a little bit. And maybe lower the mix percentage. Right there in the sweet spot. 
just enough extra noise to make it sound really realistic as opposed to sort of canned drumming. So it's a really great plugin. You can use it on actual drums. You can use it on sample drums. You can use it on bass as that's another instrument that commonly sympathetically resonates those snares and it can enhance your drum sound. It's Snare Buzz from Waves Factory. <laughs> 